Hey everyone, so I'm going to go ahead and get started with the first part of this video tutorial series which covers how to make this uh, deer antler headband. I call it the yearling headband and there's two different varieties of antlers you can add to this. But we'll get to that later. In this video we're just going to start by making the headband base. We're going to use a 550 millimeter hook and a number six super bulky yarn and we need a 20 inch elastic loop as well because we're going to work that over elastic. So this headband has kind of a skinny part which rests underneath your hair and then a big fat part which goes across the crown of your head. It is very stretchy and resilient. It's just like a regular headband stretchiness because it is on top of a regular headband. And that's what I really like about this project. Um, crochet headbands without elastic are just kind of floppy. They're cute, but they're floppy. So I really wanted to make something that would sit very comfortably on your head for when you're doing your makeup or um, your self-care routine or whatever you've got. So we're gonna get started with our super bulky yarn. I'm gonna start off with just a slip knot on my hook. And I'm gonna insert my hook under this elastic band so that I can start to work single crochets around that elastic. So I'll pull up my loop and make my first chain stitch to get started. And the first part of this headband we're making is the skinny part. So we're going to do a series of single crochets for about eh, four or five inches maybe. It doesn't have to be a lot of the headband. Just enough to fit under your hair. And today I am working with my 550 millimeter hook. It's a furls ergonomic hook and I love them. Plus it's really pretty. This is one of their resin hooks. And those are probably my favorite. So I'm just gonna work a few single crochets along this elastic. And I mentioned that I'm not including stitch counts or gauge, but you do want to work these stitches not too tightly together. So we're going to work fairly loose single crochet for about a quarter to a third of this headband. So here's our about a quarter of the headband portion of single crochet and what I'm going to do now is work a few half double crochets in order to taper the height of the headband upward. So we're going to eventually be working double crochets but to get to that double crochet we're going to work a couple of stitches of half double crochet in order to taper the height. Once we've got those in place, we're gonna do double crochets around almost the entire rest of the headband. So I'm starting with my double crochets here. And I'm keeping my gauge pretty loose. I don't want these stitches all crammed right next to each other on this band because we'll actually be working the opposite side as well. And to do that, we will need to work in between the stitches that we're making for this first pass. And I'm pausing my work here to check the tension I'm going to even out my stitches on this elastic so that they're not too cramped together. I'm going to eyeball it. You can too. You don't want any big gaps in your work, and I do have a few big gaps left 
I want them loose but not gappy, so here's the finished headband of the other, other one I finished. And you can see the tightness of the stitches now that they've gotten worked on both sides. But I do need a few here to finish that off, so I work a couple more double crochet. And once the band is almost covered, I'm going to lower my stitch height back down using a few more double crochet, or I'm sorry, half double crochet, <laughs> half double crochet to lower them back down and then finish off the round with a few more single crochet stitches. So as you can see, we now have one side of the band covered. I'm going to straighten out my stitches. I'm gonna make sure that my stitches aren't twisted. The elastic inside is a little bit twisted, but that's not a big deal. The main concern is that your first round here is not twisted. So once I get them straightened out, all nice and pretty, they're evenly lined up. I will fiddle with my hook. I think I'll work one more single crochet. And then once that's complete, I'm going to slip stitch in the first single crochet of this round. So that's the first round of the headband. And we're gonna pull a little trick here and switch sides. And that's gonna involve a little flipping and I'm actually gonna pull my yarn through the headband in order to get it to feed correctly. So, whoop. There we go, and now we are reversed direction and ready to work the opposite side of this headband. So I'm going to insert my hook between the stitches I've already made. And I'm gonna work single crochets to match the single crochets that I have on the other side. Again, inserting the hook in between those stitches, but still catching the elastic that's in the middle. And once I've reached the point where my stitches change and I start to do half double crochet, I'm gonna mirror those half double crochet on this side as well. So I'll do two half double crochet, just like I have on the other side, still working in between those stitches. And then when I move on to double crochet, I'm gonna match that double crochet, working in between the double crochet stitches of the other side. And the reason I work these headbands so that they have these stitches on both sides is because working the crochet just one side is a little unbalanced. So when you put the headband on your head, the stitches don't want to lay flat. They have more elastic on one side because of the elastic in the middle and it'll make your stitches pop upward and not sit right on your head. So in attempting to crochet around elastic and make a comfortable crocheted headband. I came up with this method and I hope that you really like it. I really like it. I'm definitely going to make a lot more of these. Maybe not right now, but soon. And here I am again, just slowing down the video and zooming it in a little bit so you can see more of how I'm working this. Once you've finished off the double crochet portion, you'll mirror your stitches again on the other side, working those half double crochets once you get to that part. 
and coming back down to the single crochet portion. And in that portion, you don't have to mirror the stitches or work the other side. I think it's actually nicer if you don't because you have that little rounded band. It's gonna be really comfortable and smaller and less bulky underneath your hair. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish off with just maybe one or two little stitches. And there's a hair in my yarn, go figure. <laughs> and then once I'm done with those last few stitches, I'll just finish off with a slip stitch. There we go. And then cut and tie my yarn off. And now you've got this awesome crochet headband. It can be great on its own, or you can continue with this series to see how to add your antlers. Thanks.